Rene Descartes was a philosopher famous for his belief, I think, therefore, I am. He came up with a concept called dualism of the mind and body, his thesis that mind and body are really distinct. He believed that there were two kinds of substance, matter, of which the essential property is that it is spatially extended, and mind, of which the essential property is that it thinks. The physical stuff, like bodies, chairs, rocks, that are extended into space are called res extensa, which is what our bodies are made of. The mental stuff, like thoughts, ideas, which take up no physical space, are called res cognita, which is what our minds are made of. The nature of the mind, that is a thinking, non-extended thing, is completely different from that of the body, which is an extended, non-thinking thing, and therefore it is possible for one to exist without the other. Bodies are machines that work according to their own laws. Descartes believed in a mechanistic view of the material world, that matter goes about its business and follows its own laws, except when it is interfered with by the mind. Man's mind, then, simply pulls the levers of the body to do its bidding. Descartes believed that the pineal gland in the brain was the locus of interaction between the mind and the body because he believed that this gland was the only part of the brain that wasn't a duplicate. It's important to remember that for Descartes, the brain and the mind are not the same thing. The brain serves in part as a connection between the mind and the body. Because it is a physical, changeable thing, it is not the actual mind. Man's mind is whole and indivisible, whereas his body can be changed. You can cut your hair, remove your appendix, or even lose a limb, but that loss in no way affects your mind. Descartes' method was to doubt everything in order to find truth. He could doubt everything except that he was thinking. He said that he can doubt the existence of his body and physical things, but because of his ability to doubt, and therefore think, he cannot doubt that his mind exists. If you have two things with the same properties, they are identical and essentially the same thing. So if two things have different properties, then they must be separate. For Descartes, the, exi the existence of the body can be doubted, but the existence of the mind cannot be doubted. So they must have separate properties, so they must be separate things. But a problem arises with this theory. What you think about something is not a property of the thing itself, it is a property of you. Descartes hadn't actually proved that the things themselves, the mind and the body, have different properties. For example, Lois Lane believes Superman can fly. Lois Lane does not believe Clark Kent can fly. Therefore, according to Descartes' theory of dualism, they must be separate. But in this case, we know that they are not. 